Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we're going to run through an ARP Max scanner. This one's from Colasoft. Uh, there's many out there. And what this does is instead of pinging a device, it actually does an ARP request. So even if a device has a firewall or doesn't respond to pings or ICMPs, an ARP scan is the next best thing you can do. The only thing you got to keep in mind with an ARP scan is that it's a local thing. You can't do this across routers. This is only within a VLAN or a subnet. So in this particular case, the Coldasoft Max scanner starts up, shows me the local subnet, and in my case, I've got a few adapters. Some are VMware adapters and some are local. So I'm going to choose my local. I'm going to hit start. Off it goes. It's sending many ARPs out on the wire, and whatever responds gets thrown up on the screen. So there you go. It's all done. So now I'm going to show you what that looks like within Wireshark at the packet level. We can see here my machine is sending out an ARP broadcast just saying hey who's got the MAC address for in this case 10.1342 so if you can see if you pay attention it doesn't really go in order but that doesn't matter and then 56789 and so on and so on and so on so when something replies in this case dot one replied now I have his MAC address and therefore we can let me just sort this there you go so now I can see the MAC address and the IP the other thing I can do with the Colasoft Mac scanner is I can just right click and copy this and then I could paste the IP MAC address and everything on that line gets pasted into my copy to my clipboard which I can paste into an email. The other thing I can do is export. So I can export this in a text format which is tab delimited or a CSV which is comma separated value. So I've got a couple of different ways of exporting this as well as a good old screen capture. So I hope that helps. It's great for inventory, good for troubleshooting, and you get to know the IP addresses and MAC addresses of the devices on your subnet. Have a good day. Bye for now.